I'm Dr. Michael T. Luchuk. I'm a math and science teacher at Harding Charter Preparatory High School in Oklahoma City. I'm also an Oklahoma Energy Resources Board, or OERB, master teacher. Today's lesson, Geological History and a Scale Model of Geological Time, is brought to you by the people of Oklahoma Oil and Natural Gas. Let's get started. Geological time is immense, and it's often very hard to comprehend the enormity of the scale of geological time. I'm going to take you on a tour of the major subdivisions of geological time, and I'm also going to set up an activity that will allow you to make a scale model of this in or around your home. So, let's take a tour of geological time from the formation of our Earth about 4.6 billion years ago, when we thought it was a hot molten mass, up until today, you watching this video. A scale model for geological time is something that I'm gonna have you guys build, and if you take a picture of and submit it to OERB, you might be able to win a prize. The materials you're gonna need are some sort of ruler or another measuring device, and a piece of string or some sort of length of ground or something similar. The length of ground can be a, a length of a yard, um, it can be a driveway, a sidewalk, the, the length of a room in the, your home. It can be a distance between two trees in a park nearby. The longer the better, as long as you have the ability to measure that length. Um, you need, also need something to mark distances. Um, if it's on a piece of string, you can use a marker. If it's on the ground, maybe you can use a piece of chalk or something like that. Or if you're marking in a park, you can maybe take little stakes and place them in. But please, if you're doing it in a public place, do not deface the area at all. And please clean up after yourself so that the place is left nice for other people. The skills you're going to need are an ability to calculate ratios, and I will show you how to do that, and the ability to measure distances. So I want to start you off by showing you a detailed scientific geological time scale. This is from the decade of North American geology. It was first produced in 1983, updated in 1999. If you are thinking of going into the field of geosciences, you would likely use something like this as a reference. We are not today going to get into anything nearly this detailed, but I just thought I'd show you that. The Earth, we believe, is about 4,600 million years old. We believe it's this age because there are a large number of meteorites that have been radiometrically age dated at about that age. And we believe those meteorites represent the primordial solar system. We divide those 4,600 million years into four eons. The most recent eon, the Phanerozoic, which began about 540 million years ago and continued to the present. And this is the time in which there was a massive increase in the diversity and the complexity of life. Some of the first multicellular organ organisms began at about 500, 550 million years ago, and they became more complicated up until present day. The Proterozoic Eon, the Eon before that, went, went from about 2,500 million years to about 540 million years ago. And this was when the first free oxygen began to develop in the atmosphere. There are some evidence of some microfossils and some small single-cellular creatures in the Proterozoic. The Archean, from about 4,000 million years ago to 2,500 million years ago, is a time when there was solid rock on the planet, but there was no oxygen in the atmosphere, and there is scant evidence for life at this time. The Hadean is from the beginning of time, 4,600 million years ago, when we believe the Earth was a hot molten mass, to about 4,000 million years ago, which is approximately when the first solid rocks have been observed. These three bottom eons, the Proterozoic, Archean, and Hadean, we combine together to call it the super eon of the Precambrian. You may be familiar with that term. And just as an FYI, when you see MYA, I'm referring to millions of years ago. And when you see MY, I'm talking about millions of years of time. I'm going to use those abbreviations throughout this thing for convenience. So let's say you wanted to subdivide your string or sidewalk or park or whatever you have. I've got this 75 inch string here. And we know the total length of time of geology represents 4,600 million years. We know that the Hadean started 4,600 million years ago and ended 4,000 million years ago, and that represents about 600 million years of time. And remember, our string's about 75 inches. 
Well, if we want to figure out what portion of this string we want to represent the Hadean, we would simply take the length of the Hadean divided by the total length of geological time and the unknown length x divided by the total length of string. If we solve this ratio for x, we would get approximately 9.8 inches of string to represent the Hadean. So if I were doing this, I might make a little magic marker mark at about 9.8 inches. Just to help you out get started on your table, the approximate length of the four eons, the Phanerozoic, is about 540 million years. The Protozoic, about 1,960 1, million years. The Archean, about 1,500 million years. And the Hadean, approximately 600 million years in duration. Let's move on to the Phanerozoic Eon. The Phanerozoic Eon is further subdivided into a number of eras. The most recent era is the Cenozoic Era from about 65 million years ago until present. You maybe have heard of a famous uh, meteor impact site, Chicxulub, on the northern coast of Mexico. Um, that is, the Cenozoic is the time period that is dominated by mammals and insects and the like. Prior to that is the Mesozoic, 248 to about 65 million years ago. This is most famous for the dinosaurs. And then prior to that, the Paleozoic, from 540 million years ago to about 248 million years ago. And this was, at the beginning of the Paleozoic, was a massive bloom of comp complex multicellular life form. And the Paleozoic was dominated by mostly by ocean um, or, and, or sea life. A little bit of life came onto the land, and most of the land was dominated by vegetation. A lot of the coal and things like that that we um, now use today are coals coming from the mid to late Paleozoic. The Paleozoic era itself is, is subdivided into a number of periods. The most recent period is the Permian, that's the last period of the Paleozoic. Prior to that, the Carboniferous. And in North America, a lot of people subdivide the Carboniferous into the Pennsylvanian and the Mississippian. Um, but that distinction is not as clear in other continents. And so that's something that's unique to North America. The Devonian time period preceded that. The Silurian time period preceded that. The Ordovician time period preceded the Silurian. And the Cambrian, which is the, the beginning of this mass explosion of complicated life, was from 540 to about 490 million years ago. The first two or three periods here were dominated by almost exclusively by sea creatures. The last three were a mixture of sea creatures and mostly land-based plants, although a few land animals had started to creep out of the water. The Mesozoic era is a famous era, um, dominated by the dinosaurs. The, the most recent period of the Mesozoic is the Cretaceous, Prior to that is Jurassic, made famous by the movie Jurassic Park. And prior to that is the Triassic. This was a period that was dominated by dinosaurs. Almost 200 million years, the dinosaurs ruled the planet. The Cenozoic era is the one that we are living in. It has two periods. The Quaternary period is the last 1.8 million years. Prior to that, the tertiary was 65 to about 1.8 million years. And some people have now begun to subdivide the tertiary into the Paleogene and Neogene eras. Just as a reference, if you wanted to figure out the length of the quaternary on my 75 inch piece of string, you would take 1.8 million years divided by 4,600 million years equals X inches divided by 75 inches and you would come up with a length for the quaternary of about 0 0.03 inches, three one hundredths of an inch. That is about how much your fingernail will grow in approximately one week. And for reference sake, humans on the planet, Homo sapiens as we know them, are thought to have only existed for the last half of the quaternary period of the Cenozoic era from the Phanerozoic eon. So on my 75 inch piece of string, human life as we know it might represent one one hundredth of an inch. We've done an awful lot in that time, it seems like.
but it, in terms of total geologic time, the amount of time that humans have been on this planet represents a very, very small fraction. Here is a summary of all of the periods from the Paleozoic, Mesozoic, and Cenozoic and their duration. This is a, a good page for you to use for your table of data. Uh, I look forward to seeing your scale model. Send a picture of that scale model to teachers at OERB.com and tag us on Facebook and Instagram at OERBOK. Okay. Remember, you could win a prize.